Well, everybody, I guess the uh, Mother Nature has another idea. It's, uh, it's already rumbling pretty nasty here. Um, you know, they actually didn't say it was supposed to rain today, but uh, here we are. So I'm gonna pack up my stuff at the moment and uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get back to it because uh, my uh, weather app just said that it's gonna, looks like it's probably gonna start heavy raining here in about 20 minutes. So I, I don't like being rushed. Um, plus, <laughs> I, I somehow misplaced my little filter. I'm gonna have to keep looking, but uh, yeah, that's not good. That shit pisses me off. So, all right, everybody, uh, I'll bring you back when uh, we got time here. All right, we'll talk to you. Hey, everybody, Iceman50 here. So, uh, today's decided to cooperate, Sunday. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the oil. I got uh, rained out yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I kind of figured that might happen. That's why I was like, what should I do first? The oil or the exhaust? So, you know, maybe this, maybe this week I can do the exhaust um, one day after work. So, why don't we go ahead and... Uh, get started here um, and uh, we'll show you what what we need to do all right all right hang on we'll be right back yeah, so our oil drain is right over here okay so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, so I got a funnel right got some gloves I needed some more mechanics gloves we got a pick okay supposedly to get the old oil filter out of there call it a funnel I got some brake parts cleaner and I got the pan so uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set you down here and, uh, we're gonna find our uh, I got our gloves and a box of goodies So, one of the things that uh, I know that they recommended uh, Honda was um, replacing the, not replacing, um, checking the valve lash. Um, I don't, I don't know what it is at the moment. I tried searching. It's not very clear. Uh, I am going to buy a service manual, so uh, that will tell me. So, but most people aren't even worrying about right uh, about it right now after the after the you know 600 miles or whatever so I think you know on the next oil change I'll uh, we'll have to pop off uh, I don't know if we've got to pop off this this cover oops or uh, the other cover I'm not quite sure where it is but we'll have to look here there's a cover somewhere where we can get to the valves. It could be over right here, maybe, I think. So um, we'll, uh, we'll worry about that later. But yeah, I know that, you know, if you look in Honda's recommend, because uh, I asked them at the dealership and they said that, you know, that's what they would do is it, it, the first oil change, it would check valve lash. But I've seen a lot of other people saying it, um, you know, that it, it was fine, so. But uh, I haven't heard any weird noises really or anything, so I think we'll just go with that. And then I got, you know, four quarts of the GN4 uh, 1030. So um, there is a mark over here, which tells you, you know, three quarts, two quarts, one quart. So it just takes one quart. So we'll, we'll uh, drain everything. We'll put our filter in. I've got gaskets to replace this outer o-ring gasket they recommended that i do that so that's what we're going to do i've got um the uh crush washer down here so here's our here's our honda filter say hnd-1165 um and one side does say outside so you know then i got these are um 
exhaust gaskets. So when we do the exhaust, we'll we'll look at that. Um, don't forget, I had a few goodies. Some uh, the headlight bezel, like these uh, little pieces that go on the uh, in front of the headlight, little accent. Uh, and I got two more of the. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I got two more of these uh, for the back. Uh, license plate and I do have my license plate finally so we can put that on So uh, let's let's get to this and I got a whole box of wrenches here These are the uh, so here's the o-ring that goes here. It's uh, another Honda part number 91302 dash PA 9 dash 003 uh, I picked up two of these um, obviously you only need one but I figured you know I, I buy stuff in multiples uh, you know not just one because uh, they really make a lot of sense uh, same thing with the uh, crush washers I bought three and the crush washer is part number 90407 dash 259 dash 000 and uh, I think these were, I don't have the uh, paper, I don't think I have the paperwork. I think it's in another box. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, I told you guys it's kind of windy out here, so we're going to try not to leave stuff laying around. Um, so anyways, I bought three of these. Um, I think this was, uh, these were like three bucks or two seventy nine or something a piece. And then the, the O-rings were about the same. So uh, let's pull one of these off. Okay. All right. So I'm not quite sure exactly what wrench it's going to be. Probably 10 millimeter. Here's a 12 millimeter. No, looks like it's a looks like it's a 12 millimeter. All right. So let's uh, get the old bump. She's twite, everybody. Oh yeah, nice and tight, good and tight. There we go. All right. You guys see? All right. So hopefully we won't spill any of our exhaust here. Hey. Look, it looks fine. I mean, it looks obviously it's a little dirty. Ooh. Obviously, it's a little dirty, but uh, it's not too bad. I see some light sparkles in there. Oh, oh. let's put this up. Set you back down here. Yeah, this uh, this doesn't really look that bad. I mean, it looks fine. It's definitely got a smell of some uh, some fuel. Very light scent. All right, we're gonna let that drain for a minute. Let me go grab some uh, paper towels. All right, we'll, uh, we'll worry about cleaning that up uh, off of the pipe and everything. That's why I got the, some of the, a little bit of brake parts cleaner. You know, I don't wanna go crazy, but you can see it's splashing all over there. So uh, now, these are, okay, this is a 10, okay, so the drain plug is a 12, yeah, this is a 10, okay, Ooh, it comes off like nothing. Now 
Now remember everybody, there's a spring in here, okay? There's a spring in between this door and the filter. So let's try not to lose that, all right? all our bolts and nuts and stuff on here. Right. Now I'm wondering if we shouldn't, uh, oh, knocked you. Now I'm wondering if we shouldn't uh, tip it. Let's just pull this uh, Hold on it here. Ah, so I got a pick, put it in here, turned it, and just kind of pulled, and it popped right out. Mm. You see that? Oh, not too bad. All right, so. Soak up some of the uh, oil that's right in here, right? Okay. Pretty good. She is just dripping all over the exhaust. <laughs> this is why you guys need a, you know, center stand would be great. But like I said, we'll just blast this off and we'll wipe it down and it'll be fine. Let's uh, let's focus on um, let's focus on changing this O-ring. Right here, right? Okay. Very carefully. Get in here with your pick. All right. Now. Find one of our O-rings and a crush washer. Here's a crush washer. And here's the O-ring. Right. So. Uh, oh. <laughs> I just. Uh, I got. I felt it with the uh, the pick. Kind of kind of pointless to be wearing gloves if you're gonna. <laughs> Rip them. Okay. All right. So, uh, what we're gonna do is, I got some oil on my fingers already. Uh, we'll probably do this is take a touch of the stuff here. This up, right. and then slide that back in there. Perfect. Okay. Get off our cover a little bit. Okay. Now let's uh, now let's focus on the uh, crush washer. Crush washer. Okay. Take the old one off. That's the old one. Put that in there. There's our new one. All right. This is our old O-ring. We'll get rid of that too. So uh, let's uh, let's pop this. Uh, let's 
Let's pop this in. Back in here. Once I, like I said, once we get this uh, oil, uh, this old oil out of the way, we'll, uh, we'll clean this up a little bit better. Okay. All right. So let's find our filter. Again, I think we're just gonna touch a little bit of oil to our finger. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put a little bit in the end here. Okay, just rub it around on there. Okay, we're gonna put that back in. Just, you felt a little teeny little pop, just a very slight pop. And then um, we've got our here. Okay. A little bit of crap on the threads. All right. O-ring is still there. All right. And our spring. Okay. Trying to put these on, you know, with a million pounds of force, right? So, uh, the other thing was our wrench, 12 millimeter. A couple of good wax. Right. One last. Okay, perfect. Gorilla grip tight. All right. So, the next thing to do is fill it up with some uh, some oil. Let's, uh, so you can see that we we got the drain plug in. It's tightened. We got this on. It's tightened. We've got our fill. I did get an aftermarket um, oil cap. if it's in here. Yeah, here we go. It's a, a racing cap. It's got like a Torx in the middle. Um, we would have to take the uh, O-ring off of this guy and put it on here. So uh, I don't, I have to find my Torx, but so I'll install that later. But I thought that was cool. It's just a little red boink right on the side there. All right, just kind of following with the theme of a few of the little red pieces, right? So let's get our funnel out. Okay. Get our funnel out. And we're gonna, we're gonna pour in about a quart. Now, to, it's got a sight glass over here, right? So we, and there's two lines. Uh, let me see if I can show you. So, right, right over here, there's a lower line and an upper line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up until uh, it comes down to the three quart mark. And then we're going to um, uh, 
kind of lean the bike up straight and you know hopefully uh, we're there right so it would be easier I guess if you bought the one one quart things you just pour in the quart but uh, you know I wanted some more oil so that I could change it you know again you know not too long from now so that's what we're gonna do all right so we're gonna start pouring here Oh, my hand is killing me. This stuff's pretty heavy. And four quarts of oil. Showing us at three quarts. All right. So now what we're going to do is put this in here. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is tip this over without killing myself. If you guys can see it but we're right up at at the uh, the line so we definitely got plenty of oil all right so uh, let me set this thing back down yeah you can see watch it <laughs> okay we got our oil out of the way here all right we got our old oil filter So that worked out pretty good. Um, not too hard at all. Maybe uh, if the weather cooperates here, we can even do the uh, exhaust later today. That's what I was hoping, is that uh, it would be nice enough that we could uh, we could do that. Okay. okay. All right, let's, uh, let's grab our key. Now remember, like I said, they recommended we check the valve lash, but until I get the service manual, I can't do that, right? All right, and we're running. Back over here. I'm trying to have all our crap blow away. Oh, remember what I said? Let's, uh, before that thing gets too hot, right? Let's uh, clean up the exhaust a little bit. Yeah, my hands too are a little. that good enough let's uh now we're just gonna check for leaks which I don't think there will be any all right everybody so I'm gonna take it a quick rip around clean a little bit of this up first and uh I'll let you know how it all works, all right? All right, we'll talk to you in a minute.
All right. Well, let's see if we can. Uh... Oh, we got a little bit of a little bit of oil burning off the exhaust right here. Some oil on the back side that we didn't get. <laughs> Try it. Like I said, that'll burn off. Not really too worried about it anyway, since we're going to be changing the uh, exhaust. So, all right, nothing catastrophic. So, as a bonus, bonus feature to the episode, let's uh, let's look at some of these um, accoutrements, right? For my uh, peeps in uh, Canada and France. Okay. As I recall before, there were two different sizes. The size that was on the back here was this bigger size, and this other one was a smaller size. Let's look and see what we got here. No! <laughs> okay, so it's bigger than it's bigger than that. All right. Um, let me uh, let's see about. Yeah. So so these fit. Uh, th this one fits these, so I got to get a slightly bigger wrench uh, for those. Hang on a second, and uh, I'll bring you right back. All right. Hang on. It's about as... Can you put an Allen wrench where a uh, uh... a star is supposed to go? I'm just curious about this. I'd love to put this on. I just... It looks like it. Let's see. We just need to find the right one. Too small. Too small. Oh, hey. What is this? Eight? Nine's... Nine's too big. Eight's just right. So, uh... The question is, where does the, uh... Where does the O-ring go? It tells you. Somewhere. I think it just goes down in that lower area. So let's uh, let's get our pick out very carefully. Uh, set that down. Since I dropped it, let's just make sure that it's clean. Oh yeah. All right. So then we get our uh, El Ocho. It's for my Spanish folks. <laughs> Number eight millimeter. Okay. Let's uh, put that on here. To me, it's kind of a safety feature. <laughs> also, because then. Nobody can just be coming in here and undoing your oil, right? All right, she tight, she toy. That looks pretty cool, I like that. Remember, you gotta put the O-ring on. I think it even tells you on their package to put the O-ring on. All right. So. And that, of course, is another gasket you could get, but most people don't change the, the O-ring on their uh, fill fill uh, contain, uh, fill cover. So let's uh, start in the back here. All right. Man, cold startups always sound so good. I really need to do an exhaust on that thing too. Oh, it was, it was the washer. We have the nut, I just didn't have the washer. All right.
This thing sounded pretty good. Uh, hey, air conditioning works. Sweet. Windows open for a moment. Got real play it on. So these are the blank off plugs instead of using, let's do one thing at a time. We'll get these back ones on, okay. And I think I told, uh, it was Junior Gill, um, that he could have my uh, old blank off plugs up front. So now that I'm putting them on, I will uh, I get in contact with him and uh, Send them these. Right. Okay. Nice. All right. That looks that looks better, more complete. Like I said, we're definitely gonna need to see how it just kind of comes off of there. Like I said, we're gonna have to shoe goo that. So uh, let's see if we can get you up front here and uh, pull off these blink off plugs. How did I, how did I do that before? I know I had a little microfiber cloth or something in there before. Uh, all right. There's two. Oh yeah, and this one holds my uh, my uh, charging uh, piece. Okay. All right, so we got our blank off plugs. They kind of like, I guess they sun fade a little bit on top. They look a little. Uh, uh, bronze on top actually okay always carry your Swiss Army knife never know all right so we got our blank off plugs here all right this is the same oh and it's a Phillips <laughs> all right it looks like a number two Phillips, which that is. See, this is really indispensable. I uh, I use them all the time. Uh, this isn't looking so hot. It's grabbing into this piece, but it's not grabbing into that piece. Um, hmm. Maybe I might give these away because they're really nice. Uh, and if I didn't have something mounted to here, I think it would be perfect. All right. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. No big deal. I know somebody out there will enjoy them. Let's see. So we're going to go ahead and put our uh, other ones back on here. All right. Ah. 
Yeah, so I got to leave this one on here um, so that I have um, a way to charge it. All right. Which, if you remember, is five millimeter. All right. So, just so happen to have a five millimeter in the car. Awesome. Everything according to Hoyle. All right. All right, and that's it. So uh, we'll take you for a quick walk around the bike, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Easy. All right, everybody. Here are the uh, four uh, red washers from TST Industries up front. That looks pretty cool. Uh, we got our thing here. We weren't able to put these on because um, I needed it for this one. I needed an actual screw. And that's what it looks like from the back. So yeah, we got our blue panel washers um, and we got our oil cap all right so let's uh turn this on one more time all right everybody thanks for uh coming in and watching don't forget you know you should get yourself a uh, service manual on ebay they're 60 bucks at the dealership 97 so I recommend grabbing one on eBay. All right. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you. Easy.